Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I got the um, Marvel Legends 80th Anniversary uh, X-Men, Colossus, and Juggernaut figures here. I was able to find them uh, at my GameStop. Here's the side art. Like that. Here's the back. If you want to, pause and read these two. And then here's the DCPI. Here's the Marvel logo furnished here. Um, but besides that, let's crack this thing open. All right, here they are out of the packaging. They're a bit of a pain to get out, but let's go over the accessories. So, Colossus comes with two-fisted hands. Looks pretty good. I like the little uh, attention to the sculpt and detail here. I like how that looks. Uh, one with the uh, like clenching hands. It's pretty cool. Um, one thing that I wish they added for Colossus is like a screaming head sculpt. That'd be pretty cool, especially when you're having them in poses, uh, poses like this, and then with Juggernaut like looking angry, like that. I think that would would have been a lot better if they added like a Colossus head sculpt, and then the. Uh, Accessories for Juggernaut here comes with uh, two like well this one's its own but uh, kind of like gripping hands so these two are supposed to go together whoops hang on there we go They're two different hands but yeah gripping hand, hand sculpts and then two fisted hands uh huh and then. Juggernaut has his own head sculpt, bruised, and a uh, black eye here, and then uh, with another one, his helmet broken, and all you have to do is fit this on top to make it, there we go, like that, for the, when you want to switch heads for him, or you can do it without the helmet if you want. Uh, I will go over me putting on the extra head here. Uh, let's look over Colossus real quick for the looks. So it looks pretty cool. Here's the head sculpt. Really, I like the metallic silver throughout his figure. Looks really cool. And then I believe this is the classic like Colossus look. Belt is pretty cool here. Uh, these uh, bracelets are separate pieces, so if you want to like pop off the, uh, if I can, pop off the hands, you can take them off if you want, but I prefer to have the wrists on there because then it has like that flat area where it's supposed to be on there and it just looks weird without the wrists, without the wrists. So I'm just gonna be keeping the wrists on there. Um. And then, um, here's the back. Really, I see the big muscles. Um, and here's the feet. I like how they how this looks with the like big boot. Um, but a lot of attention to detail with the like metal areas. Um, but that's all the gap looks for Colossus. Let's go over his articulation here. So his head can move down that far. His head can move up that far. He has very little uh, head pivot. Uh, rotation's pretty good. Arms can move up that far. Uh, rotation, you can, it, this padding area right here stops it up here. Um, and bicep swivel, my figure's still stiff, double, I mean, single jointed elbows, 
um, wrists can hinge. Well, it hits, hinges down that far and it goes up that far for his uh, clenching hands and a 360 rotation. Um, ab crunch, you can move down that far, pretty good. Backwards, really far, really good. Um, 360 rotation around the waist, bell of his own, legs kick out that far, kick forward that far, backwards not much, um, thigh cut, uh, double jointed knees, and then ankles can hinge down that far, up like zero, and then ankle pivot. Um, but really good figure. Uh, now let's go over uh, juggernauts here. Oops, I'll put that there. Got them. So my problem with juggernaut when I took him out right away. So when I was pulling him out, trying to pull him out, this arm came off, and it's easy. You saw how easy that came off. So you gotta be. It's basically a builder figure. So, I mean, at least it didn't break them, but the only problem is that the arm comes out pretty freaking easy. Um, and then his arms move barely. Uh, so he's really not that well articulated. Um, but it's a really classic juggernaut look. Um, so his helmet just, he has that really angry look his eyes are completely widened out he has like a gap tooth it looks like I like the facial expressions that they did for him helmet very soft plastic um, but you cannot take it off it's a its own headpiece I will uh, take it off and then put these two things back on him but first um, and then arms pretty good Veiny, um, and then these are separate pieces, but well, this is not its own separate piece, never mind. But looks really good, not much going on with the hands besides the little brass knuckle. Torso looks good, I don't see anything wrong really here. Um, legs just pure white, boots. Uh, I mean, not pure white, pure red, never mind. Uh, a little bit of lighter red. They added like threads around the boot here for him, which is really cool. Um, but besides that, uh, let's go over the articulation for him. So his head uh, barely moves down. It goes up very little. Um, his arms can move, well, yeah, that happens. Um, moves up that far. 360 rotation. Bicep swivel. Single jointed elbows, like zero articulation there. Besides, if you want to move them back like that, but not that much. Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. Not a whole lot there, too. Uh, ab crunch, that far forward, that far back. 360 rotation in the waist. Legs could kick out that far, not much. Kick forward, not much. And backwards, also not much. Thigh cut, single jointed knees. Um, and then uh, the ankle can hinge down that far, up that far, ankle pivot. Um, they could definitely work on this figure a lot better, especially since mine does this. I'm not sure how bad the other one is. Yeah, the other one is perfectly fine. So it must be just a defect with my figure that I'm able to pull it out so easily. Um, but to improve the articulation, I thought they could probably like maybe, I don't know anything about, I don't know if they could fix anything with the arms, but maybe add like a, butterfly joint maybe would be helpful um the head i guess i guess you can't really do much with the head because it's really it's just a helmet 
Um, but let's just take off the head and uh, I'll try putting on the other, these two things. So you just pop it off like that. Pop this head on. There we go. Um, it has a little more articulation when you just have this on. And then with this, you just pop that on, try to line it up with the eye a little bit and mouth. Kind of got to move his head a little bit up further. And then you can get him into cool action poses with glasses, like punching it, punching that helmet off or something like that. Um, but that's all I've got for this video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh to do reactions to I want to get the PS5 uh I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it um more camera better camera equipment uh and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better and then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, I, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports, videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.